Erska is the place to go for rhythmic gymnastics in this community. Uh, we are the only club in the city that has had gymnasts compete at World Championships, Pan American Games, the University at Games, and I think that makes us really special. Erska has been a driving force in, in this province, certainly, for the development of the sport in the West. What I loved the most about Erska was the people in the club. Um, they became my family, one of my best friends, and being able to express myself through the sport was also really important to me. When I look back at the memories, uh, pictures I have, the albums I've made, it's just incredible. We had such a good team, a great leader, coach. It was such a great journey growing up. Edmonton Rhythmics was started many years ago and actually I first learned of rhythmic gymnastics when I was watching it with my five-year-old daughter and it was the Olympics in Los Angeles and Lori Fung from Canada captured the gold medal and Jody was just enthralled so I started to look and what I found in Edmonton was Edmonton Modern Rhythmic Gymnastics Association which has since morphed into what we called ERSCA, Edmonton Rhythmic Sportive Gymnastics Association, and we just refer to them as Edmonton Rhythmics. So that's how our journey with Rhythmics began. Jody started in a recreational program, and then she moved to pre-competitive and then to competitive. And in my time with the club, we were searching for a new coach, as well as the Rhythmic Gymnastics Association of Alberta was looking for a provincial coach. And so we joined together and we brought over Judy Bretz from Hungary. Uh, she was a national team member in Hungary and she coached gymnasts at that level. She was also an international brevet judge. So Judy joined Edmonton Rhythmics in 1990. I think the most appealing thing in the job for me was that from the moment the people who hired me trusted me from the very beginning, they let me do my job. They did all the background work behind the curtain. The gym was arranged, everything was arranged. I didn't have to do any administration work. I could only focus on coaching. And they trusted me from the first moment and they just let me coach. Once um, Judy came on board, um, our competitive certainly developed and thrived. And we had a very um, well-rounded performing group. And we also had recreational programs in I think 10 schools. So it, it had a very strong continuum of the sport. At the beginning it was slow, but I think two, three years later we were on the map in Canada. I think across Canada within three years. I loved the job. I loved the coaching. I loved the whole aspect of it, the way it was done. And also I have to say that this was an opportunity for me to have my children in the correct place in the world and for my family. I was always involved in rhythmic gymnastics. My, my mom was a top individual athlete and then in group as well. She went to two world championships and she became a coach in Hungary. Got a job here in Canada as head coach 29 years ago and I've been going to the gym with her ever since I was three. So I've been involved for almost 30 years as an athlete and now as a coach. We are a competitive club so we are here to achieve. That's why we are competitive. The main aspect is yes we are happy to achieve and collect the medals but my goal is to actually bring the most out of each gymnast. So some of the girls, when I bring the most out of the athletes, some of them get up on the podium, some of them get on the top of the podium. But doing your best, and if I can bring the most out of the child, and she might not be top athlete, but I already make a huge difference in her life, and that's how I measure my success. If I am able to bring what I think is the most of that athlete, what she's capable of doing, I think I did a good job, wherever it takes that athlete. Being coached and, and judged by, by my mom was an amazing experience. I cannot imagine it any other way. And I really admired her. She was always my role model. And uh, as a judge, I loved seeing her at the judging table. It was always like, 
it was a moment of reassurance when I stepped on the carpet. I was like, yes, I can do it. And not just, not just because she was my mom, but she was basically my everything. When I look back today, it just, it just warms my heart. Back then, when I was judging her at a competition, it made me sick physically because I really wanted her to do well. I was a competitor back then, a high-level competitor. When you're a competitor, you have an easy job. You know you're prepared, you go on the carpet, you will do it. You're coaching the children, the, go, the kids go on the carpet, and you don't know what's going to come out of it. So judging your own daughter, you want it so much. You want it for her, not only as a coach. I always want it for all my athletes. But now you're the mother. So that was very difficult. Now coaching with Judy is, uh, it's easier. <laughs> Although we still have, you know, we have a very good work, working relationship. High toes. Hold, tightness. More point up there, more. Go deeper with the body. Working with her is, is awesome. It's, it's fascinating how we can work together. We're very like-minded. I think that's why we work so well together. And when you have a common goal, a common focus, only good, amazing things can come out of it. Assembly jump, immediately prepare. Yes, and then you go ahead. I still feel I have lots to offer as a teacher, but tell the truth, we are making a choreography. Judy's contribution is greater than mine. It's, it's a fact. She's a 30-year-old, 30 31-year-old coach. It's, with all the experience, she has been involved since she was a very little girl. So she's a very, very good coach. And I think I have to remind myself that I need to show appreciation more often because you take things for granted because she's your child. But I really admire her as a coach. Uh, because she's very knowledgeable and the way she approaches the work with the children, I really value that. Make the movements between your A and B faster. Don't forget she grew up in Canada. I came from a foreign country with a totally different experience, but she knows more because she grew up here. But yeah, definitely take some air out of it, Kira. Listen to me because you can mold, you can control the ball so much better. I think what makes Erska so successful is that Erska is like a family. Our goal is to offer all programs from recreational to beginner competitive to high level competitive. And the goal, no matter the class, no matter the level, is to bring out the best from the child. So we want to achieve the most that we can with a kid. We want to bring out their full potential. And I think we excel in that. Also, we have an amazing support system. Our parents help so much. There's no way my mom and I could do everything uh, by ourselves. So we have an amazing crew of, of helping hands who are there to support us and to pitch in um, anytime we need anything. And uh, we're forever grateful for them. The first very important thing what makes Erska successful is the teamwork. It's not only the coaching part, but the work behind the scene. We could not exist without the help of the parents. The parents and the gymnasts and the coaches all work as a team. So when you have good coaches and happy children and um, all those things together make a successful club. Edmonton Rhythmics is a big family uh, because there is a, an amazing relationship between gymnasts with coaches, uh, coaches with the parents, parents with the gymnasts. When we came here and first winter I broke my leg and it was amazing I just didn't expect Judy sent me uh, flowers and other parents uh, cooked meal and brought it brought them home and I I just was just I felt so safe and it's just joy to be in that family Erska and rhythmic gymnastics, I would say, is truly the best sport for, for young girls. It gives them a, a safe place to um, develop their skills, to become strong athletes, to become strong individuals. Um, we have strong role models in the gym. We learn not just gymnastic skills at Erska, but it's, it's life skills. Oh, rhythmic gymnastics is a, is a very, very influential, very effective way of building self-confidence in girls, teaching them many, many skills for life. You are learning so much 
that you don't even recognize, but you become one of the leaders in the society. My time as an athlete was amazing. I can't imagine a better and more fun and more educational childhood. The sport taught me everything. It taught me respect. It taught me how to listen. It taught me how to work hard. It taught me my place. Any life skill that I utilize today, the sport taught me. There's a lot of good things with being a child athlete. You know, we're taught how to deal with stress, how to deal with anxiety. We're put in very high pressure situations and exposed to highly competitive situations at a very young age. And Judy helped a lot with that. Uh, she knew what to say to me when I got anxious. She taught me how to be able to perform under pressure and to perform under stress. And so uh, I'm very thankful for those skills. I think that I wouldn't be able to succeed in the way that I have in university, um, in you know, other things that I've done without those skills. So I am really grateful for those experiences. Rhythmic gymnastics gives young girls uh, confidence it teaches them how to work towards a goal, how to be dedicated, and I think that's very empowering. You learn a little bit of competitiveness and how to be your best by working hard, and I think that's really important when uh, you get older and you start living your life and you have to actually have a career. I can say that rhythmic gymnastics easily played as profound a role as my family did in, in my upbringing and my life. I spent um, probably equal amount of daylight hours with my coach as I did with my mother and I will f forever have gratitude to not only the sport but to my coach for everything it's given me in terms of work ethic and drive, um, dedication. I feel so blessed to have been given the gift of this sport in my, in my life. Being in an all-female sport, the role models that you have are strong women, and seeing that growing up was really important, and I didn't realize that until after I grew up and, and retired from the sport, but having those people to look up to um, and set a good example for you. You want to be like that because they're such strong women. And that's who you want to be. Of all my time in the sport of rhythmic gymnastics, I can say I have a lot of positive memories about the competitive experience because I was an elite athlete for so long. Many good memories of traveling with my coach, traveling with my teammates. But honestly, when I look back, I would say my favorite memories are just the everyday training in the gym and having uh, training mates that really became more like your your family. It's a lot more than gymnastics. We want the girls to leave our club with more than just being able to say, I did gymnastics, but I have a good work ethic. I can manage stress and anxiety. And I, I think that's, that's really important, a uh, really important mission for Erska. The club is definitely something that the city should be proud of. You need to have something that develops kids' creativity where their talents can be worked on and exercised and where they can really show what they can do. I think it, it's empowering for women. It's empowering for parents to see that, the coaches as well. So we want the same amount of awareness, the same amount of attention, but with speed. I think Edmonton should be really proud to have Erska here because we are raising women. We are raising the future leaders. They're amazing kids, and we have the opportunity to work with them from the, a very young age all the way to 18, 19, 20 years old, and they come back and they work for us. And I think it's extremely special what we do, and I think it's very rare what we do, very unique. What if you, you just have to be conscious when you do ballet classes and just keep it paying attention, it's gonna improve, but it's much, much better, very good job. Judy inspires us so much, every day almost. She tells us motivational quotes to help us get through trainings. She talks about um, life too, uh, how to be healthy, how to stay healthy, how to stay fit too. We're not only there to make exquisite rhythmic gymnasts, and I think that's really important to Judy as well, that we're raising uh, resilient and tough young women as well. More, more, playful! Yeah. Edmonton Rhythmics 
gives the girls a place where they can become competent in a sport and you also learn to self-evaluate and you also learn to set goals. So I think that's how it empowers the girls and the, and the young women in the club. When I'm representing Edmonton as a judge or when I was an athlete, I certainly am doing that with pride, knowing I come from a club like, like Erska that is so well respected, not only in this community but across the country and beyond. I, I think it's wonderful and so impressive that Erska has been around for, for 40 years and it's still growing and strong. I'm so proud and grateful to have been a part of Erska in that time and I take so much of my time with Erska with me in, into, into the rest of my life. Having female role models like the Judies and other gymnasts really allowed me to see that anything is possible. You don't have to be a certain way, you don't have to act a certain way. You can do it if you want it. you just have to work hard to get there. When I watch my athletes performing it's very satisfying. The way I am looking at routines at competitions, let's see, today is very different than it used to be when I was young and, and uh, trying to prove people that, yes, we are doing a good job. Now it's more of a satisfaction. I'm doing my best as a coach, providing my athletes with the skills I have, expecting the same from their side, and when they perform, I am enjoying the show, I have to tell you. Nowadays, I'm really enjoying watching them. For some kids, just not forgetting the routine is a huge achievement. These young athletes, you know, if they can do the routine from the beginning to the end without forgetting, it's already a huge achievement, so I'm enjoying that. From some kids, I expect much more. We are going to very important events. Watching those kids, it's still a satisfaction. It's a beautiful, it's a heartwarming event, but there is more, more nerves are involved because we put so much into that routine in the whole program that I want them to do really well. I'm helping them from the chair. 